hello! Adventures with Ola! Why am I driving around the cabinet like this, you might ask? Well, it's for the simple reason that I'm gonna start and do re again. Remember this? I did re like 10 years ago, and I did it for various bands. I did for like Immolation and uh, who else? Uh, some other fucking band. <laughs> I did it for a bunch of bands, but uh, the bigger ones was Immolation, and uh, there was one other, but I don't remember. So I figured I haven't done this in a while, and in the other room, I have so many awesome cool amplifiers that are just, you know, not being used enough. You know, tube amplifiers and expensive shit. So I figured, why not try and start reamping again and maybe offer reamps for a very fair price to to you or to any bands? I don't know. So I'm rolling in a cabinet. This is a Fortin 4x12 with 12, 4x12 with uh, with V30 speakers. And I think we're I'm not sure what amplifier to to start with. We're just gonna do a couple of tests. We got three different tracks from different people, and I just want to test it out and see if it's this is manageable or not. So uh, let's head in and decide for an amplifier, I guess. Something that chugs, maybe? Of course. I mean, I think I only have amplifier that chugs, to be honest. Uh, but I was thinking maybe the EVH Stealth, which is a kick-ass amplifier, or the new Bad Cat amplifier that I purchased, the Lynx. Uh, you know what? Let's try this because this has a built-in noise gate to it uh, too, which will definitely help, like in the reamping process. Because reamping could be a very uh, problematic thing to do when it comes to noise and uh, you know sending the correct level into an amplifier from a computer. So if you have no idea what reamping is, in short, basically. You can record your own DI signals, you know, your guitar into your audio interface. If you send those DI signals to me, I can reamp it and you get high quality, you know, uh, recorded amplifier tones. It, it's too good to be true, man. But that's technology for you right there. Wait, that's not. Let's take the bad cat. Uh, yes. All right, let's do the top This is a classic. I had an original back in the day and it's probably, uh, back then, it was the first overdrive that I used for uh, rectifiers and whatnot. So it's, it, it actually, let's just give it a shot. So let's hook it all up and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm gonna try out, I have a reamp box from Signal Art uh, that I got sent for me. I think it's Glenn Fricker's friend. Uh, he sent this to me and I haven't had a chance to try it out, but it's a reamp box with a dedicated like extra boost uh, if you wanna boost the signal, because as I said before, getting the right type of signal uh, from an audio interface into an amplifier could be a little tricky, but we're gonna try the built-in outputs on the Apogee Element that I have right here. Bring a cable. I think before we plug in the top screamer, we're uh, just plugging straight into the amplifier. My head is a little too big to fit in here, but that's okay. All right, right now, uh, this is Logic right here. And what we need is to take one of the uh, DI signals that Joel has, and uh, we output that to output three, I think. And then we have to make sure the output three is the, a good level. Plus 40B, listen to what that gives us. Very exciting. Four. There you go, listen to that. That's a sound, but is it the correct level into the amplifier? That's what we need to find out. Joel, what guitar do you record this on? Solar. Okay, so we, solar. Need, we need a solar guitar. What tuning is it? B. You think this is the same? Yeah. Okay. And actually, this is cool. 
So, usually when you do shit like this, depending on what audio interface you're using to reamp, connecting directly from an interface to an amplifier can generate tons and tons of noise. We were in the low gain mode, now we're in high gain mode, so let's go. quiet is this this is with the noise gate this is without the noise gate which is you know it's a lot of noise so the question I have is will we get less noise by using a reamp box than uh, other than going directly from the interface so that's what we're gonna try out now so it's basically like a reversed DI box you know a DI box when you track DI or you don't want to connect things into a mixing desk like uh, synths and the backing tracks you know DI boxes are pretty common to use. This is the cable that goes into the reamp box, goes there. All right, we figured it out. Okay, listen to this. And then, silence. Can you hear this? So we're using the signal art uh, reamp box right now, and it has a ground lift on it. And if you don't have it engaged, it sounds like this. And this, you don't, have to, you don't have to shake the camera, we understand. <laughs> but this, this is usually the type of noise you get from connecting an interface into an amplifier straight in. So with this reamp box, the ground hum is gone. Pretty cool, huh? So now we can basically start uh, working microphones and whatnot. Or do we, know, do we, we're going to use this, right? No. We, told, we said we wanted to use this, so let's hook it in. Okay, with and without, are you ready? Without. With. And that is the added overdrive noise, noise right there. So that's not too much, right? So right now, I guess we're gonna put up some microphones. So with the SM57, which is a dynamic microphone, I would go straight into the, uh, the speaker, straight into the center. And by itself, it's absolutely terrible to listen to. But combined with something like a condenser microphone, you know, you level them up, it could be really juicy. So right now I'm checking, I'm just putting my ear. Uh, I dial down the volume so I won't damage the ears, but I basically just move around the microphone with my ear, okay? So you understand. <laughs> Also, if you have a problem seeing, you can always use the flashlight or your phone. This is a very tight grill, by the way, so we have fucking... I can't see through it, so this is a terrible idea, actually. Great! I know that the center is somewhat here, actually, straight in. And then the uh, condenser microphone, I would just put s uh, slightly, 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 slightly outside the center. Uh, and, uh, I mean... Basically, what you have to do now is now we're going to try and record and we'll listen to both signals and then we'll adjust after, okay? So, let's just do a quick test. Right now we're listening to the small little test we did. We have the the SM57 sounds like this. And then the Neumann. So as you can hear, co two completely different characters when it comes to the, the tone, where you have the SM57 being very high and bright, and the Neumann being dark. So in the best combination, playing both, uh, I would sit and just match the levels of them both to find a good uh, tone. A lot of people like to use EQ, but 
you know, you should definitely start with just lowering and erasing the volume of the individual microphones. That's just the best way, man. And a way to do this is just to begin with one microphone and lower the other one and then you just raise the volume of that second microphone. So I'm gonna keep the SM57 and then I'm gonna raise the volume of the Neumann microphone. <laughs> And already at that point, I think it sounds pretty badass for uh, just two microphones and no EQ. Should we record a full track just as a test and do a second track as well and then we can listen to it and uh, hear how it sounds. All right, so now we recorded a test, uh, both tracks. Let me just uh, pan them correctly. I wanna set the same levels on both microphones on both sides like this. I'm also gonna do another bus just so I can control all the four different microphones. This is only the condenser microphone. And that's the guitar, two microphones, no EQ, no nothing. And you know, it's all about just mixing a good level of two different microphones and you basically don't need to EQ your guitars afterwards. So I think that sounds pretty good. And as a awesome starting point for, uh, for mixing basically. So this is the point with this video is that we just wanted to try this out and then uh, look into a model where we can start offer this to you guys for a fair price. So we're not completely sure how to set every uh, all of this up, but uh, you know, we'll figure something out. How cool is that? Thank you so much for watching. Rehabbing. Hello.